post-transplant cyclophosphamide has been the re really the big star in terms of GVHD uh, prophylaxis over the five uh, past years. However, we should not neglect that ATG, which is 40 years old, with lots of uh, available uh, data uh, and uh, research in terms of mechanism of action, is also a very important and valid option for GVHD prophylaxis. During this uh, EBMT 2020 virtual uh, meeting, uh, POSI and use of ATG uh, have been uh, discussed extensively. It will take us hours to go through all uh, the details. Uh, however, it is clear that post-transplant cyclophosphamide is uh, now well established as a GVHD prophylaxis regimen, not only in the haploidentical setting, but now it is spreading uh, into the uh, actually uh, identical uh, and uh, unrelated uh, uh, settings. So this is a good news. However, what we have seen during this EBMT uh, meeting is that, for instance, in the match sibling donor setting, uh, AML, for instance, registry-based data from the acute leukemia working party of EBMT, when you compare ATG to post-SI, uh, ATG is more potent in terms of chronic GVHD control. So ATG still have uh, to play some role despite the enthusiasm for post-cyclophosphamide. And uh, here I'd like to highlight a new phase three randomized trial just published a couple of months ago in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. And this is from the team of Professor Huang in Beijing in China, which looked into ATG thymoglobulin for GVHD prophylaxis compared to uh, uh, standard of care, standard GVHD prophylaxis in the HLA identical sibling. And the results are very, very interesting in line to what we uh, have been advocating for uh, many uh, years actually uh, about the uh, use of ATG in all transplant setting as a very powerful tool for GVHD prophylaxis. So this phase three trial from China is now establishing the uh, definitely the use of ATG thymoglobulin in the HLA identical transplant setting. So now we have two major agents for GVHD a prophylaxis, both psi and ATG. So the question, why not combining both of them? And that was actually the topic of a very lovely session we had during this EBMT, where Professor Huang from Beijing, Professor Blaise from Marseille, Professor Nagler from Tel Hashomer discussed opportunities for combining these two agents. And actually, our own data, uh, but also data from many uh, other centers, are showing now that especially when you use peripheral blood stem cells, in the haploidentical setting, combination of low-dose ATG like thymoglobulin and post-psi is feasible, safe, and can allow to uh, generate very low incidence of acute but also chronic GVHD. So I think the research field in terms of GVHD prophylaxis is uh, progressing uh, clearly in the right direction and we are eagerly uh, awaiting the results of many other ongoing randomized trials. So please stay tuned.